just got off the Star Tours and now we are walking around here to what is now Grand Avenue, what used to be Streets of America. You know what I mean, this whole section. And this is going to be the entrance to Galaxy's Edge. And I am working on being down here for opening day. I am super excited because it's been like something on <laughs> my like list for a while to be here actually for an opening so right now we're gonna walk down and just like look at everything see what's happening I love that they preserve part of the Street of America, like Streets of America. They preserve these buildings and made it part of Grand Avenue. But yeah, this is where we're gonna enter. August 29th. So what I'm curious about is like, okay, you have Star Tours, follow me on this. It's like Star Tours, then this is Muppets Courtyard, and then more Star Tours. So, I mean, I guess you can kind of consider like there's Grand Avenue in between, but I wonder if like Muppets would go away and like just eventually one day it will all be Star Tours, like Star Wars. August 29th, baby. I am so ready. I've been talking with my friends and we're making plans to be here. So this is what this currently looks like. One day, one day soon and like, three months time it's May right now so August 29th we're coming for you we're gonna be able to walk right through this archway and one day we'll look back at this footage and be like do you remember when it was all boarded up like that I wonder what the passcode is what if this door just opened right now? Like what if someone just opened the door? <laughs> okay, so while we rode Star Tours, my dad actually went back and he met Chewbacca and he yeah, loved his Hawaiian yeah. shirt because you have Chewbacca yeah. on your shirt. So I will insert the pictures. It. That looks cool. <laughs> Hi Duckies! Hi there! <laughs> Cute. So ABC Commissary is like closed and I really haven't heard much about this. Me and my mom were just saying like she thinks she heard maybe something about it. It's not serving today but it's like boarded up. What's happening? I will say though ABC Commissary has had a bit of a decline over the years. At one point in time it was our absolute favorite like quick service. They had a salad that my mom loved that it actually had like fresh salmon in the salad and they had like different options like I remember getting they had a burger that had shrimp on top and in recent years they have gotten rid of like all of that. It's like very very standard like just you know chicken fingers burgers like the basics like nothing really extra or kind of more gourmet offerings kind of all that went away so that would be kind of interesting if like but to change the menu you don't need to shut down the whole restaurant so i don't know what they're doing but that's interesting <laughs> Okay, I think we're gonna try to go see um, the Little Mermaid, Voyage of the Little Mermaid. Ariel's my favorite princess, I know I've mentioned that before, and I cannot remember the last time that, I mean, it's been a minute since I've seen the show here at Studios, and I always love it, so I'm saying that we're gonna get to go ahead and do it right now. Seven minutes. Yeah. 
cute this looks this is beautiful oh we have a lot of bubbles too <laughs> but look at the sunset so pretty everything just looks so vibrant right now oh here comes Jesse and Woody and everybody <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for our fast pass. Yay. This is always such a good time, and we were trying to just sit to remember earlier when we were in line over at Alien Swirling Saucer what the, we watched a video recently that was talking about the different things that you want to try to get in Toy Story Mania, like the different targets that are worth more points to get a higher score. And it's, yeah, yeah. So what we're going to try to do is figure that out because there's like certain things like if you can get all of one target or something, you then get a new set of things that are then worth more. So we wanna to try to, like, I don't know, we have to maybe research this and maybe another time this week we'll be able to come back and do this ride. It's almost like how Nicole was explaining to me with Buzz Lightyear and Magic Kingdom, the different things, which I still gotta do that. I keep telling her, I'm like, I'm gonna text you at some point this week and be like, I got all nines on Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Everything is just adorable in here. You could spend hours in here just looking at every detail. It's like that level of Disney. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Potato Head's covered up. <laughs> Oh wait, 
Oh, go peep! <laughs> They're gonna tally our score. Let's see. Woo! Oh, I'm the winner! 132,000. Oh, you have better accuracy though. <laughs> Even though I won, you still, you win in accuracy there. <laughs> so Woo! Oh, best in vehicle, I bet you that's mom. I bet you, she's so good at this. Let me guess, mom, you were the 154? I saw that pop up best in vehicle and I was like, that's mom. <laughs> you are still always the winner of this one, always. So I was 132,000 something. Good. I mean, so you came in second. I'm catching up to you. Oh, did I? I think you. He was 127. I think you're 127. 127. Oh, okay. So we're all kind of getting to that point where we're like neck and neck. So I'm coming for you. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to become the family champion. Okay, so we just got off of Toy Story Mania, and now we went over to see, I came out and I thought it was kind of weird, there was no slinkies going by, and I went up to check the wait time, and they have cast members outside saying that Slinky Dog is currently down for technical difficulties, so... I don't know. So they're telling everyone, they're not sure. It's currently, it's 827, the park closes at nine. So I heard the cast member telling the one girl that she wasn't sure if they were gonna get it back up tonight since there's only 30 minutes left of the park being open anyway. So I don't know though, but if they're going to, I feel like they might try. Like my gut feeling is like, if we, this would be perfect if we could just like be up here and then like when they open it up, we could just run in and not have to wait. Okay, so here's the current situation. We tried to go up there and linger and the cast member said that they're like completely clearing the area. So I don't know if it's gonna happen. I would love to like then be like, it's back and we could just run in line, but right now we're just kind of pulled over, just like assessing the situation. There's like this mass sea of people all coming out of the queue that we're waiting. Oh, I don't know. But look how cool this is. I love these green army men doing their job here in Toy Story Land. This is really cool. And I didn't, I've never really pulled over to this park because this is usually part of the big extended queue for Slinky Dog. So I've never really been able to be right up here and see this, but they have jacks down in the grass as well. So this is cool, all the details. And I love that they use like these type of plants to make it look like it's big grass so that we're the size of the toys here in the backyard. Love all the detail. Okay, we're giving up on trying to wait because it is now 8.32 and like I said, park closes in now less than a half hour and they're still exiting people from the queue. So that's not promising at all. I do not think that it's gonna come back up tonight. So I think our plan is just to kind of like start walking out of the park and go do some shopping on the main street there on Hollywood Boulevard. I just got myself a little treat. I got a strawberry smoothie here from this Joffrey's stand that is right outside of the Municipal area. I think I'm gonna say, oh, look at my dad coming in with the light. I love it. All right, there's my, my strawberry drink. See, this is right by the old Pixar place. Well, I guess they still consider this Pixar place with The Incredibles now. We have our spot right now staked out to watch the fireworks and projection show that they do on the Chinese theater here. And this is actually brand new. I like forgot that this was a thing and that this was happening. And my mom reminded me as I'm driving here that they're doing, this just premiered on Hollywood Studios 30th um, anniversary, which happened on May 1st, my mom's birthday. birthday. Yeah. And it's really special because my mom and dad are actually about to celebrate next month in June their 30th wedding anniversary. And that you remember being here on your honeymoon, your honeymoon. And yeah, it just opened up so yeah. and uh, I remember waiting three hours in line for the great movie ride Which is now gone. Which it's is so sad, sad. but so um, sad. yeah, we'll see what's coming next. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, absolutely So it's really cool. So this show premiered for the 30th anniversary and it's a celebration of Disney animation And I'm not really sure exactly what it's called. I'll try to insert the name of what it is But then after this so this starts at 
nine, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah. At nine. And then I saw on the app when I was trying to check for what the name of this is, it said that um, there's also the Star Wars fireworks is going to be happening at 9.30. So I don't know, didn't list anything about this pre-show, but they, it's definitely happening because they did just make an announcement that in 10 minutes we will take you on the journey of Disney animation. Um, through the years so it's definitely gonna happen so I would assume that maybe almost like that happened also with uh, when we saw at Christmas Jingle Bell Jingle Bam before Jingle Bell Jingle Bam happened they then did the it's the Disney movie magic which is so fun I they do a really good job with all of the projection shows that they do here and the ones here at Hollywood Studios are just amazing so I'm look, looking forward to seeing this because it's a brand new experience for all the oh look here from stormtroopers <laughs> Must be for maybe the dessert party. <laughs> that might be that special tour that they have, that Star Wars tour. Oh, or something yeah. That, or is it the dessert party? Yeah. They're getting uh, them in their spot, be. yeah. It looks like a special tour. They, they do have a Star Wars tour this week. You're now like five minutes away from showtime and they put these projections up on the um, Grauman Chinese Theater and they have the music going. It's very old Hollywood. I like it.
about. So we just watched the Disney animation um, projection show happen and now we're waiting for the Star Wars A Galactic Celebration to go off and that was just, this was incredible. Like the music, just the animation, the way it kind of told, it highlighted the different animation styles over the years. Like it was so upbeat and fun, just the whole theme throughout. I love like in the middle section they did like more of a tribute to like the classic princesses and all like those really sweet movies and it was just like every part of it was so cool and all the music from like more of the modern films was in it and I just loved it. It was amazing. And I have to say we had I think the best spot to watch it. So let me show you like where we're standing. We're like to give you a reference there's like the big Hollywood Studios arch back there and we are just off of there's like you know the main hub we're kind of just like over to the side here and it works out pretty good because a lot of people go stand in the middle there which is great to have like a dead on view but like we're just a little bit off and there was like nobody in front of us there were some people walking back and forth but you still like you're back far enough that you're seeing everything going on we're super close to there was a lot of stuff over on this thing so this is a good spot and it's nice we can kind of lean up against this rail that's right here by this planter. So this worked out perfect. As Disney's Hollywood Studios proudly presents Star Wars, a galactic spectacular. 1977, a triumphal year. Green history. On this one event, at the World Fair, Tony Singer and Hollywood California.
and have breakfast and walk around and explore at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. Never been over to, this is one of the few resorts that I have never stepped foot on. 